Hello everybody, my name is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House and thank you for staying with me for Google Ads plus Python automation tutorial. So the last time we talked about the Gackle and how it works and Gackle is a new version of an AWQL language that is used to query reports from Google Ads. And with Gackle you basically can get almost any dimension, almost any information, almost everything. Thing you need to remember that as in Google Ads, you cannot get, for example, some regional or geographic report combined with some device reports. And a lot of other very detailed information cannot be combined together. The same is gonna happen here. Not everything can be combined together. And this is done so to restrict the access to certain private information. So you cannot get very detailed information. You actually cannot get it more detailed than you can get it in interface. But again, for majority of automation, majority of stuff is going, what's going to, what you're going to build, you don't necessarily need that information. So what we're going to do today, we're going to build our reporting stuff that is going to get some information from the internet and save it in a pandas, which is a, the most nicest thing to, to, to handle it. I will remind you that I'm not a developer, I'm not a professional developer. This is something I do for fun, for my hobbies, for my work as well. But um, I do small ad hocs most of the time. So my solution is not going to be the most optimized solution. It's just going to make sense, it's going to work, and it's going to work fast enough. That's what I care about. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just modify this script to get the information I want. To do that, I will go and copy paste the current code because why? Well, I fix something that is ain't broken, right? So here's my new copy. Sorry, I need to change the name. A new reporting tool. Um, and here is new reporting tool. This is my file. Second thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go line by line and change something. For example, this is not gonna change. This is the GA service. I'm still gonna use the same Google Ads service in most of my scripts. The last time we compiled the query and I'm going to use this query for those of you who haven't been with us in the last video. So what you need to do, you need to go to Gackle Builder, unless of course you know it by heart. Uh, and to do that, you just go Gackle Generator and that will lead you to official interactive Google Ads Query Builder, which will allow you to build whatever report you want to have. So the last time we built a campaign level report that contains campaign name, campaign URL tracking templates, clicks, impressions, and campaign ID. I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. Let's do some intent. And then what I'm gonna change, I wanna have campaign ID all. I have wanna have campaign ID before campaign name. Campaign ID, you know what I also wanna have? I wanna have date, this is actually important. Let's have date, let's have segment date, paste it here. So it's gonna be segments date. Okay, I can copy this and just paste it here. This should be enough. So this represents the report I'm gonna get. Let's do the next step and see what's gonna happen. So this should get me the information for this customer ID. And if I do everything correctly and I just do print response and uh, let's say return, we should get data straight away. It's going to be ugly, but it should be there. Okay, the invalid is from, it's because I have a comma, which I should get rid of. Let's run it again. And the data is there, it just, it just you just cannot look at this, which is great. Let's, let's go on. So I'm not going to use the keyword match type because I don't request anything on the keyword level at all. So I get rid of that. And then again, as I described last time, we have a lot big package from Amazon inside. There are several smaller packages, which are batches. And inside the batches, there are Excel files that contain rows. So I'm going to work with rows. So I will just get rid of everything here and I will say that, okay, for example, date equals uh, row dot and then I can just copy this segment date and then I can say for example campaign name campaign name dot name or uh, campaign name equals row dot campaign name so let's just print these two things so it's going to be date and then campaign name and let's see what's going to happen. 
oh it's gonna break because this should also go away let's run it let's run it let's see what's gonna happen here it is a lot of campaign names they're all in Kyrillic but doesn't matter you could I mean you can support any language uh, let's just move forward and what we're gonna do now we wanted to we wanted to get this data in pandas and for those that don't know pandas is the incredibly powerful thing inside the Python that allows you to handle arrays of data and to do so I'm gonna create the array which is gonna be all data and it's gonna just contain all of the stuff and each element of this array is gonna be the information about the row and here I'm gonna say um, single row equals dictionary and then I'm gonna say here single row by the way the naming is disgusting don't don't do this um, single row of campaign name equals row dot campaign dot name then I'm gonna just copy paste this for every single field I have there which is gonna be let's first have date and it's gonna be segments date and then it's gonna have campaign ID it's gonna be ID then we have tracking template tracking template copy paste here and two more things is gonna be clicks and row metrics clicks and here's gonna be impressions so as you can see here in on the left side you can call it whatever you want you can call it for example my favorite impressions it doesn't matter uh, and on the right side you need to use the same name you used in the gackle impressions who came up with this with this name anyway uh, let's print what we have here so we're gonna print single row and we're gonna launch it hopefully it should give us uh, okay you cannot do this because this is not the name it's date okay. hopefully it's gonna work from the first try but it didn't anyway here it is we have lots and lots of arrays containing a lot of, a lot of information so now the cool part if we put all of these dictionaries in one array and then give it to pandas it will automatically convert it to data frame so we don't need to do anything except we need to say import pandas as pd by the way if you don't know you can have here go to requirements but pandas should already be there but if you put there pandas you will have something like here install requirements uh, if you don't have it then the second thing what we need to do instead of printing it let's say all data dot append and then let's say single row and after the whole try accept thing here we're gonna say data frame equals pd data frame and then let's do uh, what was the name of this all data and then we're gonna print df dot head of five which should give us first five rows if everything works of course here it is and if I do df dot to for example CSV and then I give something like my data dot CSV and launch it the data everything I have in that report is going to be so saved in the CSV which you can later load to your Excel and if you have any automation based on this you don't necessarily need to go to Google Ads to download any report you can basically download any report with one button on your Python and just work with it this is way faster than working with user interface so if you freelancer in-house or agency and you still go and download all the manual reporting and you don't use BigQuery this one can can bring you millions it's just just fantastic tool and also another thing you can use you can say to Excel and you need to define for example my data then you need to define it's gonna be XLS or XLXX so it's gonna be this 
and then it will break because you don't have by default you don't have a package to do that so when I am gonna do this it will say I need to have open pixel so I copy this I go to my requirements paste it here push install it will take some time you can see it on the bottom right to install the package so we're gonna wait for it and it hopefully will not break but I mean this phrase is just working for everything in, in programming it was successfully installed if I remember correctly it should break again with another problem with another package let's check so it's scanning and compiling and running and here is my Excel file with the correct um, everything I mean with correct encoding with something you can send to your client you can play around with it you can do a lot of stuff with it and I find when I first found this I just like wow I don't know why Google Ads still restricts access to API so heavily where this actually can save a lot of money and time so my computer right now using a lot of ventilation so you might hear some noise but here's my campaign name campaign ID per day so I can check when what was the tracking template per day I have clicks and impressions and everything I can have and I can need so I encourage you to go there and to build the reporting that you want to check you go there build something for keywords download the keywords that have low click-through rate or have low impressions anyway subscribe to this channel put like leave your comments below if you need any any help support if you have any questions or you have any projects you want me work on link uh, write me in linkedin write me on a private message or leave me comments below Thank you.